Hi there and welcome to another video in WinCC tutorials and we are rapidly running out of things to look at in this uh, simple objects tool um, but uh, I think we've got two left here and what we're just going to do is show them both which is uh, what the first one is a graphics view um, and it's simply if we go into the properties here you can set the border styles and everything else um, you can set your tags for appearance and diagonal movement etc and in the general you can set a particular graphic so just in the same way that we have uh, found other graphics in the past you can go to your folder here and go to your um, pictures folders which I will try and find my pictures and you could pull out one there we go and there we go we've got a nice picture of deep thought there okay so you can use that for backgrounds or anything else that is uh, uh, useful to make your, your HMI look um, a little better um, okay you can use them for switches you can develop your own switches again we have looked at this in the past and said that you can use uh, paint or any graphics package uh, GIMP if you're using Linux a lot or things like that to develop your own uh, symbols, pictures, whatever you like. Um, the One of the last fields here is of course the date and time. Again you're probably getting the idea now that most of these objects here work very similarly and that their um, general properties here are all the same so again you've got the animations you can make them appear or disappear um, do certain things um, when flags are on and off uh, you can change the text colors and the backgrounds and everything else so we could make that blue text on a yellow background you know with a red border again and make it solid so there you've got the time now the only other thing that you have here is you can change them to be an input and output or just an output so you can allow the operator to change the time uh, by clicking onto it or if you just want to view the time then you can just set it as an output uh, again you can click whether you display the date or the time only or both whether you set it as a long format so that you've got the whole day name and the month name um, or you can use a tag so if uh, at the moment it's set to system time so this will pick up the time that the HMI is actually running in its own system its own system clock um, for most purposes that's, uh, that's just fine um, if it's just for a display purpose if it's something that you want to change then you'll need to use a tag and again you'll need to set up um, a tag you can click a new here set it for date time uh, we can call it uh, let's call it internal internal underscore date set the data type to date time and set it as an internal there are a few more properties add comments and linear scales and various other things upper and lower limits which you know you wouldn't use on a date time function really high limits you can set the high limits so that somebody can't put in uh, a value more than 24 for, exa for example for the hours um, and you know the basic things there but that's just really what you would want to do um, to be able to read say a, a date time from your PLC or anything except you would have to put this into the connection and connect this to your PLC so that you could get the PLC time or you could change the value from your PLC for the moment we'll just oops not connection one click we'll just leave it on internal okay so there you've got an internal tag and you could set that date time from somewhere else on your screens so those are really just the last two uh, objects that you find on your simple objects. Um, we'll start looking at some of the other 
um, objects uh, later and um, we'll start doing a few things that are probably more useful to uh, you as a programmer and how to set things up. I hope uh, these basic or simple objects uh, videos have been useful and helpful to you. Don't forget that some of these are only graphics and they're not actually switches or buttons but you can incorporate those graphics onto your buttons that we did at the very early stages of, uh, of these tutorials so if you're not quite sure you can run back and, and find out which uh, uh, tutorials they are I think they're within the first five or six anyway and how to change the graphics on buttons and switches and add some of these ones to them Alright, I hope that's been helpful and useful and we will see you on the